and we've got a mystery. We've got an Art Bell level mystery. What has happened to the boss man, Brian Alvarez? A family trip to Cannon Beach, gone all awry. The last time he was in Cannon Beach, as everybody remembers from the show, he was attacked by a massive spider also on a Friday. We are trying to find out right now if the spider has taken over Cannon Beach, if it has just kidnapped Brian and wrapped him in a web. We're, we're trying to find out all of this stuff, and who knows, by the end of the show, stick with me, we'll, we may find that out. And, and who knows, maybe Brian will even make an appearance on the show. Everything worked totally fine last night, and then as we got ready to do the show here today, nothing worked, but let's not bore the listeners here. What your was your takeaway? Longer. What was your takeaway here on these ratings, Mike? That's uh, uh, that that people would fight over them and be very childish about it, and I was proven to be correct. But uh, both shows down a little bit, but really, I mean, I'm not really all that surprised. NXT's been on this run recently; they're over 50s, kind of push everything over anyway. So, not surprised by that. NXT failed uh, miserably against AEW as far as places go and statistically when it comes to to 18 to 49s and that's the number that AEW is propping up there so everybody's got a, a talking point for this week whether you look at the overall rating of the 18 to 49s no matter what's more important or not everybody's got a chance to fight for another week over uh, over the shows and the the shakeout of them well my takeaway from all of this is that everybody needs to calm down the thread on our board when these numbers came out was like, how many pages is it now? Like 40 pages? People going all crazy about these numbers? Fact of the matter is, the numbers are fine. I, I know that some people expected them to be higher. I know that some people are expecting that, like, the sky is falling now because of, of this number or that number. But the fact is, the shows did fine. Obviously, wrestling is is relatively cold right now. I mean, the big number, honestly, the biggest number, way bigger than the, the Wednesday night numbers here, is actually tonight's Friday Night SmackDown rating. Because that show, that show did a god-awful number last Friday. Now, if you recall, last Friday we didn't do a show. Because the way things work here in this, this crazy country here is that if the 4th of July falls on, for example, a Saturday, then your normal three-day weekend is not... Saturday, Sunday, Monday, it's Friday, Saturday, Sunday. And basically, Friday for a lot of people was was a day off. And I have noticed from, from this show, actually, if there's, a, if there's a holiday, even if it's like President's Day falling on a Monday, we have much less listenership on one of those days. Because I think a lot of people go to work and they listen to the show. So, you know, Friday, we decided we weren't going to do a show. And when I saw the SmackDown number on Friday being very, very bad, and it was very bad, I pretty much threw it out. Ah, let's not worry about it. So Monday comes, and that Raw rating was god-awful. The first hour of Raw was the lowest-rated first hour of Raw of all time. Do you understand what that means? That means less people cared about starting Raw than any Raw of all time. It's one thing when, like, a, an AW show, you know, they start strong, and then, like, the audience falls, 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 falls throughout the show. That's not good. I mean, traditionally, if you go back 15, 20 years, that would never happen. Like, the number goes up as the show goes on. But it ain't just AEW. NXT, if they don't have a huge main event, Raw, SmackDown, almost always wrestling shows nowadays, they start big, and they fall, 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 fall. So that's, like, that's normal now. But for a Raw show to start with the least number of viewers ever in the history of Raw, that's a bad, that's a bad sign. So, really, you know, AEW and NXT, they didn't blow the roof off the place this past Wednesday. But neither of them did what I would call a bad number. I thought that both numbers were there. The AEW demos were good. You know, WWE skews very, very old, but their viewership was up. Like, a lot of old people were totally into that show. The main event main event of, of Adam Cole and, and uh, Keith Lee for both titles, that did a great number. So, I'm not worried about Wednesday. Everybody was freaking out about Wednesday. I think what everybody should be freaking out about is Monday and Friday. Especially if tonight's Friday. If this number tonight is like 1.8, 1.9 million viewers, bro... It's going to be some bad times. But hey, we got some 
We got some stuff coming up for this Wednesday. It's Fight for the Fallen for AEW. And they have announced Cody versus Sonny Kiss for the TNT title. Which, if you ask me, why are we doing that match since they they beat up Sonny Kiss for two straight weeks? I don't have any problem with Sonny Kiss getting a title shot. I like it. I just feel if Sonny Kiss is going to get a title shot, Sonny Kiss probably should have like won a match over the next two weeks instead of just like being thrashed and beaten up on Dynamite two weeks in a row. But I'm sure it'll be a fun match. We've got the Elite versus the Jurassic Express, and we've got FTR versus Pentagon and Ray Phoenix, and of course John Moxley will defend the. Uh, the title against Brian Cage, who I do not think has the FTW title on the line. And for the NXT show, we've got Tegan Knox versus Io Shirai for the title. We have also got Damian Priest versus Cameron Grimes. And I think that that is all they have announced for the show. So, one way or the other, I thought the two shows this past Wednesday were a lot of fun. And it looks like the shows this coming Wednesday are going to be a lot of fun.